Hello and welcome back to PHP Basics. My name is Sean and today I'm going to show you how to send emails from your local host using SendMail. Now this is a functionality that works with Windows, uh, Unix, and if you have XAMPP or WAMP server, you may actually already have this application installed. If you look in XAMPP, which is what I'm currently using on Windows, there's a folder called SendMail. Now, if you don't have this folder, you can download it and I will leave a link in the description. You can just throw it in your C drive or in your XAMPP or Apache folder, really wherever you want. Um, but in this directory, there is a file called sendmail.ini. Let's go ahead and edit that. Now, this is a pretty straightforward page. If you look down, there's an SMTP server where we need to define the SMTP server that we're going to use. Now, for the sake of this uh, video, I'm going to be using Yahoo's SMTP server with a Yahoo account. Okay, so that SMTP server is smtp.mail.yahoo.com and Gmail's, I believe, is just smtp.gmail.com. They both run on port 465 and they require SSL encryption. So I'm going to change this from auto to SSL for a manual value. Now, the only other thing that you need to do is put in your username and your password uh, for your Yahoo Mail account. Uh, so let me go ahead and fill this in real quick. All right, so once you're done, go ahead and save that. And there's one other file that we have to modify, and that is the PHP dot ini file so inside of php folder just search php dot ini and let's go ahead and edit this as well now if you search for send mail it will take you to this section of the screen of the of the file here now the way that the mail function works inside of php by default is assuming you have a, a, an email server set up already uh, the default functionality of the mail function does not allow you to put in authentication credentials so you wouldn't be able to use Yahoo or Gmail's SMTP servers and with that being the case we can just go ahead and comment those out now you can see here we have send mail from and send mail path the send mail from is just going to be the email address that I used in the other file which is phpbasics at yahoo.com and for the send mail path, we're going to use the actual path of the send mail application itself. So for me, that's C colon XAMP slash send mail slash send mail dot exe with the T flag on there. Now, this is actually designed for Unix, but there is a version of SendMail for Windows called Fake SendMail, which basically simulates the functionality uh, with the T flag in uh, Windows. All right, so you can go ahead and save that. Now, one thing with uh, the php.ini file, if you want this to take effect, you have to restart Apache. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop Apache and start it back up. And now we can actually do our send mail. So if I go and uh, to a, like a our standard PHP document, let's do regular PHP tags. And for mail, we need first off the person that we're sending the email to. So we'll just put in uh, phpbasics at yahoo.com. And essentially I'm just going to be sending an email to myself, it looks like. Uh, the subject, we'll just do test subject. And then uh, the message itself will just say hello there. And then we have the header information. Now headers uh, defines who the recipient is, if there are any carbon copied recipients, what type of encoding the message is going to use, if it's got HTML in it, that sort of thing. Uh, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to use from and I'll put in PHP basics at yahoo.com now you do have to follow this particular format you have to do from colon space and then the email address um, and then yahoo is pretty finicky about how you actually set this up and you have to use the email address that you are actually sending from okay so after i terminate that so we can go ahead and save it and then refresh our web page and you can see it working up here and then it just kind of stops and nothing happens and that's because SendMail doesn't really have much in the way of error checking on the screen however if you look in the SendMail folder itself 
there is a file called error.log and if you look in here it will tell you if there were authentication problems if the server isn't configured correctly if the mailbox isn't available um, and like I said, Yahoo is a little weird about this. So while we're waiting for that email to go through, I'll show you how to set that up. So in your uh, settings over here, just click on account info. And from here, click on account security. And then down here at the bottom, allow apps that use a less secure sign in. Uh, this allows things like web servers and third party technologies to use your email address to send those emails. So obviously your uh, username and password are going to be as secure as your computer are. If you're on a web server, you wouldn't really have to worry about that. Now Yahoo is notorious for taking forever to uh, respond and deliver emails. So I'm gonna pause the video and I will start it back up whenever I see that email come through. All right, so a few seconds later, um, my email came through. We can see it's from phpbasics at yahoo.com with my test subject. And if I look, it says, hello there. So this is the easiest method that I have found for sending mail from localhost without having to have a mail server actually configured. Uh, I did run into a couple issues the first time I tried this years ago and uh, they were all uh, server sided related which means i had to reconfigure my email account or i was just typing something incorrectly um, if you do have any issues feel free to let me know and i appreciate you guys watching if you like the videos that i do and you're actually learning something from them feel free to subscribe feel free to leave any comments or questions that you may have and as always stay creative